Germans drink water. Lots of water. To be precise, about 150 liters of bottled water a year. Add to that water from the tap and Germans drink even more water than coffee. Water is the most protected and regulated foodstuff in Germany. As a general rule, you can say that drinkable water comes out of every tap in Germany unless there is a no drinking water, kein Trinkwasser, sign on the tap. These signs are also sometimes attached to fountains and similar water sources. On the other hand, there are also fresh springs in some forests or mountains from which you can also drink water. If there's a problem with the tap water, warnings are immediately broadcast on the radio, local television and also in newspapers, sometimes even with loudspeaker announcements or mobile phone messages. A cubic meter of drinking water costs between 1 euro 50 and 2 euros and the accompanying wastewater costs about 2 to 3 euros. For a household of four, that makes cost of about 800 to 1,200 euro per year. Depending on the region, water hardness varies. So some households use the water filters before heating water for tea or coffee. Detergent boxes for washing machines also indicate how much detergent to use depending on water hardness. There are various laws to protect groundwater. For example, one may only wash one's car at special washing places or change the oil in the car repair shop or professional garage. The professional garages and washing places require an oil separator. There are also water protection areas where various things are not allowed. Due to climate change, some German regions have to adjust to reduce water supplies. In recent years, there have been several droughts, as a result of which large parts of the spruce stands in the forests have been destroyed by bark beetle due to a lack of resign production caused by excessive drought. Even though there are now more and more water bubblers used in private households, many water bottles are still bought from the 150 or so mineral springs in Germany. There are basically three variants of water according to the Gaponic acid. Sprudelnd or spritzig means with a lot of carbonic acid, usually in clear bottles. Medium or middle means moderately carbonated, usually in green bottles. And sanft or still means with little or no carbonation. Germans like it moderately or highly carbonated. Even unchilled, it gives you a fresh feeling when you drink it. In the past, there were standardized glass bottles for lemonades and water, and only the label distinguished the brands. It was similar with the beer bottles. The principle goes back to an agreement between Frankfurt beer traders in 1903. Many companies now have their own bottles, which unfortunately means that the empty deposit bottles have to travel further within Germany. There is an important difference within deposits. Reusable deposits are somewhat cheaper, usually 15 cents per bottle, and the bottles are reused, glass bottles up to 50 times and PET bottles up to 25 times. Reusable deposits are marked with the word Mehrweg, often with this logo. This is contrasted with a one-way deposit, which is 25 cents fund. This is a logo for the one-way deposit. The discounters had started to use one-way bottles so that they could save space for empty bottles. Thus the share of returnable deposit packaging decreased. On 1st of January 2003, the one-way deposit system was introduced against the resistance of retailers and the beverage industry. As the industry had tried to fight the law with lawsuits, the retail sector was not prepared for the take back at that time. While the goal was to minimize the amount of single-use packaging, it has since led people to believe that single-use deposits are also environmentally friendly. 
In some cases, the returned plastic bottles have been shredded and the PET was sent to China to be turned into new fleece sweaters. So if you buy bottles, please buy reusable ones. And there is no free water in German restaurants? Mostly not. A few restaurants also put a jug of tapped water on the table, but in the masses you pay for water. The restaurants calculate with quite low margins and therefore have to make a profit even on drinks. In return, the restaurants can afford to pay the waiters at least the minimum wage and usually more. And tipping here is a recognition of good service and not a necessity because the restaurant operators would save on paying the waiters. And what you can always do well with water is spritzers, uh, schorlen. Whether with fruit juice or wine, very refreshing. How do you prefer to drink your water? Thank you for attention and see you next time.